Jacinta Allen made what she hopes is a dramatic break separating her from Dan Andrews. She announced that there will not be a second drug injecting room in Melbourne's CBD. In a report justifying the decision, she said her government was unable to find a location for the controversial rooms. The Andrews government found their site just fine right next to a primary school in, in Richmond, residential area. Greens MP Ellen Sandal said rejecting the injecting facility was a cowardly move, but could it help determine the next City of Melbourne election? Joining me now is Libertarian MP David Limbrick. David, is the second injecting room proposal uh, totally shelved or is it just being put on a pause whilst we determine who the next Lord Mayor is going to be? Because uh, this is something that's hugely unpopular, even in woke Melbourne. Uh, it seems to me that it's been shelved for good. Uh, you know, the Premier was pretty uh, unequivocal in her statement about the, the injecting room not going ahead. Uh, unusually here, I'm going to say that the government's doing something good. Um, what they've actually focused on is pharmacotherapy. So things like um, helping people get off heroin with things like methadone and other drugs. And they've actually expanded to a new trial of a drug called hydromorphone, which I've actually been pushing for for years now. So I was quite surprised and happy to see that the government is doing that. The more people that we can get onto pharmacotherapy, uh, that's the less people that will have dying from heroin and also less organized crime in this state. So I actually think the government's made a good decision here. Well, there you go. You are full of praise for the Allen government. I Call me suspicious. I still think uh, this may come around again. They can very easily do a, another review, find what they say is an appropriate location and, and go right ahead with more of these facilities. Now, let's talk about courage from our politicians. And we're finally seeing some of that from the Liberal Party in WA. They've pledged to ban the use of puberty blockers in children. Uh, David, this is an issue you've uh, long spoken about. You've uh, advocated for a review of these processes. Are we going to see other politicians in state governments and in the federal parliament take action on this? I think it's inevitable. We have to. And although I said something nice about the government in the last issue, on this issue, the health minister came out and basically said, uh, you know, the cash review in the UK doesn't apply to Australia. Um, that's totally wrong. Anyone that says that is wrong. It literally mentions the Royal Children's Hospital in the cash review. Review um, the the cash review clearly stated that there is uh, a very poor scientific evidence backing these medicines, and we need to get away from, you know medicine as ideology and medicine go back to medicine as evidence-based i think what the new south uh, what the western australian liberal party has announced here is is a good thing and uh, we definitely need an inquiry into to see what's going on in this issue in victoria